In today's Warzone video, I have the top five meta loadouts you guys need to be using. These are gonna be some of the most broken weapons in the entirety of Warzone that you guys are gonna dominate every game with. If you haven't enjoyed today's video, give it a like, subscribe, the notifications turned on, and let's hop into this. All right, so for our first guy here today, we're gonna be taking a look at probably one of the most broken guns in the entirety of Warzone. That's the Vanguard PPSH. So I've given you guys a Vanguard PPSH hipfire build, but I'm not giving you really much of an ADS build. So this can be really good for just overall ADS sniper support, so on and so forth. So let's hop into it. First thing, muzzle, we're gonna go for the recoil booster. Um, barrel section, we're gonna go actually down here for the zac 300 millimeter barrel bullet of velocity and range of course and recoil control it's gonna be super awesome um in the under barrel section what we're gonna do is we're gonna go throw on the mark vi skeletal here for ads speed and movement speed it's gonna kind of help speed this build up here a little bit because it's not gonna be nearly as fast of course as the hip fire build now, the magazine section, we're going to actually go here for the 7.62 Garenko 71 round mag. We don't necessarily need the increase in fire rate here. It's going to kind of really throw off the whole purpose of this build of being a little bit better outside of like super, super close range. So the Garenko 71 is going to be really where it's at. Now, in the, the ammunition side of things, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go throw on subsonic here for no mini map ping. Uh, this is a pretty underrated ammunition type here, and I don't see a lot of people using it. Though, I mean, you can definitely run lengthened or something like that if you really feel like it, but subsonic is pretty clutch. Now in the rear grip section here, we're gonna go through on the fabric grip here for ADS speed, sprint to fire, and of course, hip fire accuracy. This is gonna, of course, help speed this build up much like, you know, the Mark VI skeleton will. Um, and don't worry about that horizontal recoil control. It's really not gonna pull all that much to the point where it's like pretty much like unmanageable in any capacity. Now in the optic section, we're gonna go through on, of course, the slate reflector here. Uh, we just always run the slate. It's just the best thing to run on this gun. Now in the stock section, I'm going to go through on the Kolvaskaya Skeletal here for a sprint to fire and of course movement speed. I definitely don't want to run the uh, like the folding stock or the remove stock on this one. Uh, it's just not the way to go. Definitely run the Skeletal here as uh, this is definitely like the premier choice for this build. And then perk one, uh, we're going to go through on tight grip here for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And then in perk two, we're just going to go through on quick but overall increase in sprint speed. So this is my full build here. This is gonna help you guys ADS. Super good, hope you enjoy this one. And now let's move on to our next gun. All right, now we're gonna give you guys a build here for the Automaton. So this is a very highly used AR. It's got a crazy large magazine, virtually zero recoil, and it's gonna be a real solid gun to be able to use. So let's get into a build for it. Muzzle category, we're gonna go for the MX Silencer here, of course. In the barrel section, I'm gonna go for the Zac 600 millimeter BFA barrel. Definitely gotta run this to help control that recoil uh, quite a bit. Now, in the honor barrel section, we're going to go for the Carver foregrip here because they did kind of nerf the recoil control ability a little bit on this thing. So, vertical recoil and hipfire accuracy is going to be real solid on this. Um, magazine, we're going to go for the 6.5 soccer 75 round drum. Always got to go for this thing. Uh, definitely the way to go. Ammunition, we got to go for lengthen for overall increase in bullet velocity. And then in the rear grip section here, a couple different options, but more or less, I mean, we just got to be able to stabilize this thing out a little bit. So we're going to go for the polymer grip here, flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And then in the optic, a couple options, but we're just going to go either for the G16 2.5. Maybe if you're playing something like Rebirth and don't feel like you need something a little bit more so. But if you are feeling like you need something that's got a bit more magnification, I'd recommend the SVT scope as this is like my go to on this gun. So I'd recommend for you guys to use this. Now in the uh, stock section, I'm actually going to go down here for the Zach Skeletal. Um, this is only going to mess with your sprint to fire and hit fire accuracy, but it's going to be really solid for ADS, uh, you know, walking speed, initial firing recoil, all that great stuff. So definitely, definitely run the Zach Skeletal. And then in perk one, I'm actually going to go down here and throw on a uh, tight grip here for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And then in perk two, we're going to go throw on fully loaded, just the max mount just to max out our starting ammo capacity. So this is my full build tier for the Automaton. Hope you all enjoy this one. A super solid AR you guys should be running. All right, next up, I got to give you guys a build here for the Armageddon 43, as this has just got to be one of the best SMGs in the entirety of Warzone, short of the PPSH. So uh, let's get into a very movement style build for this thing, because I've given you some other builds previously. So i got to switch it up and give you something here a little bit different. Uh, muzzle category, we, of course, are going to save for the recoil booster here. That's just kind of what we run on this thing. Um, the barrel section, I'm actually going to go for the Amaretto 180 millimeter short. ADS, um, ADS speed, aim walking movement speed, and of course, sprint to fire speed. Uh, it's not going to be as good for your bullet velocity and recoil control and accuracy and stuff like that, but this is a very movement based build. So in those close quarter situations, you're going to be like frying people, just dancing on them. It's going to be a little nuts. Now in the underbrow section, we're going to go down here for the SG-98 compact here to, of course, bolster our overall like aim walking movement speed, stuff like that. Magazine, we're going to go down here. We're going to use the 8 mil Kurs 72 round mag. This is going to be real solid and helping you guys maintain all that damage and everything um, because we're not going to be using a lot of like those damage range, you know, style attachments with like our barrels and everything. So this is going to help out quite a bit. Now on the ammunition th side of things, we're going to go for subsonic here once again, uh, just because no mini map ping. So it's going to be pretty clutch. Now in the rear grip section, we're going to go for a grooved grip here. 
This is once again can help bolster our overall movement, and I really like this combo uh, from the Grooved and the SG98 Compact. Um, optic section, we're going to go for the slate reflector here. Of course, just got to be able to see what we're shooting at. So that's a huge, huge thing. I mean, the iron sight sometimes a little bit chalky in Warzone, so I don't really like that. Um, and then the stock section, I'm going to go for the Amaretto TA Skeletal here. This is going to be just a great stock. And I pretty much run this regardless of what build I'm making. It's just a great stock overall. And then in perk one, we're actually going to go for hard scope to kind of help us with that recoil control because this thing can bounce around a little bit otherwise. And then in perk two, we're going to go for quick to increase that sprint speed. So this is my full build here. Super good. I love the Armageddon 43. Definitely, definitely be using this gun. All right, next up, I got to give you guys a build here for one of my favorite ARs in the entirety of Warzone to like ever exist, the Grau 5.56. This thing is just amazing. I love the ground. I'm so happy that it's actually a meta AR and it's like usable and good. So let's give you guys a build for this thing. It's going to be pretty simple, uh, but let's hop into it. So first thing, uh, mono suppressor here. Got to run the mono sound suppression and of course, damage range. In the barrel section, I'm going to go for the Tempest 26.4 Arc Angel for that increase in damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Um, pretty simple stuff here. I mean, the Tempest, by the way, has the best iron sights out of any barrel in here. It's also going to do the most in terms of making this an effective AR. So that's why we run the Tempest as opposed to something like the Nexus or any of these other barrels in here. Uh, the Tempest is just the best hands down. Like, there's no competition for this. It is just genuinely the best. Now, in the end barrel section, we're going to go for the Commando Fork up here. I don't believe this requires anything else at all. Like, I mean, if you need another foregrip to run on the ground because you can't control the recoil, like you need to reevaluate your overall skill in the game because this thing has like no recoil. Like it's a laser beam. Now in the magazine section, I'm going to go for that 60 round mag here because I'm a 60 round mag kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? So I always go for that beautiful 60. It's just an overall a really great magazine. And I mean, you could definitely go for the 50 if you want a little bit more mobility, but I just go for the 60. Um, and then to finish off this build here, a couple options, but I go for the tack laser because I want to make use of those great iron sights. But if you guys don't want to go for something like a tack laser, want a little bit more range, you go for the optic section and throw in something like a VLK three times optic. And you're going to be beaming people at range here, no issue. But my overall go to on this gun is to run an actual tack laser and pretty much just call it a day. So this is my full grout build here. Definitely give this thing a shot. I love, love the grout 5.56. And in the spirit of keeping this for a little bit of an extra Modern Warfare AR in here to finish off our top five, we're gonna go for the M13 because I have a lot of people that ask about it, like is the M13 still good? And of course the M13 is still good. I was frying with it and I got some gameplay coming up, you know, just kind of showcase that. But uh, definitely let's get into a build for a muzzle category. We're gonna go for the mono suppressor, sound suppression, and of course damage range. Um, barrel section we got to go for the tempest marksman this is the way to make this gun the most effective you can possibly make it is by throwing on the tempest marksman there's no reason you guys should be running anything else besides the tempest marksman if you're trying to use this as an actual ar and in which case otherwise i don't know why you try to use it as like an smg or a hybrid because there's so many better options at those ranges than to you try to convert the m13 like i'm just keeping it a stack so we got to go for that now in the underbrow section we're gonna go throw in the commando foregrip here um i know this is one of those guns where people can feel like it will jump around on them a little bit uh so you can go for the ranger foregrip but otherwise just got to go for that commando there's no reason to you know slow yourself down more than you need to now in the magazine we're gonna go of course for that 60 round mag not because i'm a 60 round mag kind of guy but just because that this thing has a super high fire rate so there's no reason for you to run like a 50 on this because you're gonna burn through that 50 a lot faster than you feel like you probably would like to and so 60 kind of feels like a really great spot to have this gun at. Now, on um, the optic section, I don't really ever go for like a laser and run the iron sights. I uh, pretty much, I love to run this as like a medium-ish range AR. So I'll go for like a Corp Combat Hollow. And that is fantastic. Maybe if you have the blue dot unlocked, you can throw that on there. But otherwise, you can go for the VLK three times. And you're going to be beaming people at range here with this thing too. So the VLK or the Corp Combat, it's up to you guys. But if you're going for medium, just go for a Corp Combat. And you'll have some great success, especially on like Rebirth Island, uh, Fortune's Keep. Not as much Caldera with this, but definitely those two uh those two modes or those two you know island maps that being said that's gonna be my entire uh, top five you guys happen to enjoy this make sure you guys give it a like subscribe notifications turned on and i'll see you all later just remember to triple cap don't be randy and i'm out peace